Six columns, enter. Hi everyone, welcome to the SOL. Uh, lately, Gypsy's been wondering if she's once, uh, twice, uh, maybe even three times a lady. As a woman, I'm naturally curious. Mm -hmm. Right, so Crow here came up with a spreadsheet program that'll answer that very question. Okay, uh, using Senator Dianne Feinstein as a baseline. Since she is exactly one time a lady. Right, <laughs> we enter Gypsy there, and the answer is you're 2.7 times a lady. <laughs> Well, no, that's not bad. Sure, Winona is 3.3 .3 times a lady, mm -hmm. but Nina Totenberg is only two and a half, yeah. and Melissa Etheridge is, ooh, well, pretty low. <laughs> Julian Anderson herself is only a 2.9. Wow! Yeah, and say, look at this. It says that Mike here is eight times a lady. What? What am I even doing in there? Wow, let me take a look at you there, mm -hmm. Mike. Ooh, yeah, I see it. Cut I see it. it. Out. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm no times a lady. Say, what are you doing with your fine self on Saturday, huh? I'm not a lady, not at all. I'm seeing not even that. a little. Mike, relax. Even being a hundred times a lady isn't a bad thing. Uh, you should know, you big woman. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, you giant lady? Yeah, well, yeah, lady. You're right. Oh, lady. speaking of ladies, uh, yeah. sort of. Uh, what you got for us, Pearl? Oh, hi. Uh, Mike, is it? Anywho, nothing much going on around here except the government has asked me to do some secret LSD tests on robots. Okay, the government's not really involved. They're just my secret LSD test. Now, Brain Guy sent up some stuff so I can monitor the results. Right on. I, I, Mike, do for a little favor and hook up the video and coax cable so I can monitor the robot's hallucinations. Uh, okay, Pearl, looks like we're set up here. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how you'll be ingesting the LSD. It's a secret. Who wants vegetables? You do, you do. Hey, Brain Guy. Now, to heighten the effect, Bobo and Brain Guy have come up with their own little garage band to play some of the psychedelic music that all the kids are talking about these days. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Narcotic Casserole. Now let's see what's going on in those little pea brains of yours. Okay. We've got a vegetable here, so uh, let's switch it to video feed. <laughs> Servo, Servo, are you, what? what a nightmare, are you okay? What, the fat? No, Mike, that's what I see every day. <laughs> right, let's check in on Crow here, how you doing? Mm. Beta carotene, mm. plenty of fiber. Mm. Powerful hallucinogens. Okay, uh, let's switch to video feed now. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, 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 <laughs> before it was a Milky Way. Now, now it's a Snickers. Huh? Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, bro, it's going to be okay. I'm, I'm going to talk you down. Okay. Okay. Milky Way. Uh, all right. It's scary. All right. scary. I'll be a safe Thanks place a lot, man. Pearl. <laughs> yeah, Pearl. I hope you're happy. I am happy. Robot misidentified candy bar. Now, your movie today is a little tab of orange sunshine called Future War. We have a word for this kind of film in the illicit pharmacology business. Crap. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, you're hallucinating a clown. <laughs> you mean you're not a clown? Or... No, well, no, oh, we got movie signs. No. 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 Oh, boy. Feel better, Crow? <sighs> My shirt sleeves are around here somewhere. Making a bad movie that's two weeks in solitary confinement. Is that you leaking, Crow? Uh, no. This place looks like a maze. We call it a corn. Look over there. Hmm? You make such a big deal out of feeding the chickens. Why'd you make your hot tub so big? We found him, down there. Let's get him. I'm right behind you, Andy. So you'll cushion my fall. Uh, can I be in your movie too? It's a clown loft. People just keep coming out of it. Welcome to Pipe World. All we do are pipes, and we do them well. Three lesbians on a dangerous mission. <gasps> Hold on, man. Sorry, my calf just rolled up like a window shade. Oh, they set a gullible moron wow. trap. Bob just sent us to the basement for more pickles. I didn't know it would be this hard. Our pretending there's a hole there is going really well. It's Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, it's more like Jean Claude Gosh Darn. Yeah. My Ving Rames, I can't remember. Hmm. Four days ago, a fire fell from the sky. Mm -hmm. And it brought a man who would change my life forever. Deepak Chopra. But also came a pack of dinosaur like creatures. For cute. In various ages, shapes, sizes and its masters. Mm -hmm. For all the questions I had about the heavens, all it brought was hell on earth. All the bras were hell on earth? I don't know if that's what... Hey, listen, is that a heartbeat? Mm. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's a love beat. Yeah. Oh. Here we got flashlights in a dark space. Let's make a movie. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing after whatever we're doing here? You want to go to Applebee's or... Remember, we don't have hall passes, so be careful. <laughs> Rock'em, sock'em, dinosaurs. Mine's not cooked through. She's gargling with fright. String. Yep. I see string. So it wasn't a giant meteor, it was a daisy air rifle that killed the dinosaurs. Jerry, no! <laughs> he was three days away from retirement. <sighs> Let's go! Man, half this movie has been people's butts on ladders. Ha <laughs> ha 
Dino, no! In association with Bob Ted Offensive Productions. Rather promising entertainment, but I'm not that optimistic. Wait, another movie started. Dustbuster Galactica. Maybe this is an anthology of short, plotless movies. Mm -hmm. So? <laughs> Traveling at a moderate 15 miles per hour, we made our way safely through space. Oh, Zeno! A place. Here to sing his top 10 country hit. Hey, it's William Conrad's CAT scan machine. <laughs> Formerly of Kazja Gugu. What do you think? Well, they sent the ship up, but they forgot to put in astronauts. Names without Z's in them? What the hell? Spaceship is handicap accessible, that's nice. Yeah. Hmm. Patrick, wait, come back and be in the movie. Oh, no. I am a camera. Ah, there's a Z, we're back on track now. Bob, we're still building the set, keep the credits going. My bra strap rope. Oh, he's the French country singer. Yeah, he's usually teamed with Guillaume Tubbs. <laughs> hey, he's coming into the theater, Mike. It'd be a lot more special if we knew who the hell he was. Mm. Yeah, Arlen H. Bullshit. Okay, okay. <laughs> mm. I had a bottle of Dom McWilly once. It was overrated. Romeo was restless. He was ready to production design. Kazoo tight. Creature effects. Hopefully, this doesn't mean Alf. Face of a snow monkey heading at us. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore this credit. I'm just gonna look away till it's gone. Still there. Looking. Okay. Okay. Two first names from Van Halen. Coincidence? Yes. Yeah. No. Save the Neutrogena bar. This movie is crediting the entire United States, person by person. Ooh, awkward initials. <laughs> Not a very good tent. See, this is what happens when you deregulate credits. Tall man. Yeah. After making a couple of rest stops along the way. And withdrawals from Earth's banks. Gerbils, well, they pretty much remain gerbils. Questions? Please refer to the addendum. And now, ooh, heaven is a place on Earth, the movie. Future Wax. Uh, war. Oh, war. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Aw, cute little credits. Don't be shy. Come on up here. Come on up. I'm having a secret storm right now, Mike. Uh, don't tell anyone. Three Mile Island All-Inclusive Resort. Right them. Uh, it 
it's tough swimming in this part of the ocean. A giant chicken. Fuck. Wow, he's gonna need a big bag to pick up after his dinosaur. I'm telling, you got a pet on the beach. Wow, they lit this with a KFC heat lamp. Chuck Wepner's point of view. <laughs> Later in Houston or Portland or some crappy hole of a town, I don't know. Hey, it's Mike! Oh, no. Thanks. Santa Claus hits the skids. No. Oh. Kind of an ineffective beer commercial. Give me back my beer! Well, I better get back to the office. <laughs> I warn you, my meat is very stringy. This has got to be kind of the last danger you think of when you're living in a dumpster. Yeah. He's a cutosaurus. He's being attacked by a schnauzer in a dinosaur costume. Wow. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Maybe it was butterflies that wiped out the dinosaurs. <laughs> Tap dogs. <laughs> Ooh. No wonder fossils are so rare. I'll disguise myself as a box. Must look corrugated and square. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, being a scab for UPS is hard. Alan Jackson in a very special cameo. <laughs> it's a weird, threatening clown. Hey, they got good stuff here at the police auction. Van damn it. Brain guy looked like this in high school. <laughs> Damn binocular trick. <laughs> Jeez, I'm sorry I killed your dinosaur. I didn't know he was a pet. Boxes of air shipped anywhere in the world overnight. Boing, boing. He's got clown white all over his fist now. I don't know, maybe they ship fully inflated balloons overseas. <laughs> World's grouchiest mime. He's boxed in. Yeah, well, I'm cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you two. <sighs> Be honest, am I wearing too much eyeliner? So he sees considerably worse than humans. <laughs> I like the Randy Johnson model cyborg. The FedEx DHL wars continued well into the next century. <clears throat> Don't come in yet. <sighs> the truth about radio keratotic. Cardboard boxes aren't working. Try throwing a piece of paper or a cotton ball. Uh, this is hard to watch because I care about them both so much. I care about the boxes. Why should innocent freight have to suffer? He looks better without makeup. Yeah, he's so pretty. He really doesn't need it. Battle of the guys who peaked in high school. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh, I got point of view vertigo here. My trained wiener will finish you off. <laughs> Marenge. <laughs> I'll just wait till you're done twirling. <laughs> Backers! So these guys are kung fu fighting. <laughs> My bell collection. Ah! Ah! The largest attempt ever to lock in freshness. This part was filmed through soup. Hmm. Kim Wilde could do a video here. I'm all moved in, but I'm still living out of boxes. He's using sense memory. An actor prepares to suck. He studied <laughs> under Lee Strasberg's car. He's read Uta Hagen's respect for acting like an imbecile. <laughs> you know, he should probably throw an empty box just to keep from getting rusty. I'm doing the making out with myself gag and no one's here to enjoy it. Jeez, where'd I pack the can opener? I continue to remain cold. Oh, the warehouse covered everything in vinyl so no one sits on their good boxes. Mm. Do I have something in my teeth? Mm. All right. There should be a delay of movie penalty right about now. 15 yards. Kool-Aid vision. Nothing, nothing. I don't hear you, dinosaur. La, 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 la. I don't hear you. Well, this dinosaur used to rule Hollywood. Now Spielberg won't return his calls. It's sad. Yeah, oh, that hurts. <laughs> Killed by a pencil. Okay, there we go. There's the new legs, but I don't think they're going to be very functional. It's okay, thanks, Mike. Hello, folks. You may be wondering why I'm not kickboxing right now. I apologize. You have every right to expect constant kickboxing. But the truth is, until recently, I had no legs. However, I've just remedied that by actually making myself some. <laughs> so get ready for some hot kickboxing action. The first poor schmo comes along is going to get a taste of my Ashley Judd-like kickboxing wrath. <laughs> you shook me all night long. Ah, a challenger. Hi, Tom. Ha! You dare to oppose me, strange top-heavy purple one? What? Prepare to be kickboxed by my new legs. I don't want to fight, Tom. I like you. You will fight, coward. Gosh dang it. Come on, legs. They're pretty new legs, Tom. Fawning flattery will not help you. Dumb, stupidy, stinky legs. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, just a temporary setback. Oh. Do you need help, Tom? No. Don't get... Ah. Oh. There. Now stop your pathetic delaying tactics. I insist you fight me, weakling. Well, if you want. Okay, Tom. Oh, oh boy! Look at oh. Sorry. I thought you didn't have legs either. Just made it today. Neat, huh? We'll be right back. I should make another one. Oh. Sister vehicular homicide. Oh, great. Third time this week. I'll just leave a note on him. He's alive. Somebody help me! Please, somebody help me! Help me, Sister Roscoe. 
Oh, Fred. I'm a flippity gibbet. In the car. A man. The hair weave doesn't blend in that There's well. an injured man in the car. He needs our help. Hey, Oscar, we need your help outside. I'll loan him some flesh. And? Sometime no six. She's wearing a maternity habit. The van is under arrest for not having seen painted on the side. The van must be having emissions problems. It's black in the lower atmosphere. Hey, what have we got? A homeless guy with his throat ripped out. By what? Who cares? Figure mountain lion grizzlies come out of the hills in search of food. Found this poor bastard instead. Great. Just great. Has anybody called the Humane Society, the zoo? They're sending some people out. Captain! We've got something here. It's on part of a burger. I want to know if I could eat it. It's not that dirty. Split it with you. We found this. What the hell made that? That's your shadow, boss. <laughs> Jesus, I think I should be wearing a tie. Ow. Oh, my gout. Ow. I mean, don't give me a hard time, OK? <sighs> I think you broke a bone. I mean, what is this bullshit? I mean, no special favors. Okay, anything you say. <laughs> and watch that language. Okay, okay. Hey, so now you don't like my cooking, sister? No, no, I'm just not hungry. Thanks for cooking. Hey, I have some nice chocolate cake, some mocha almond ice cream. Hey, I'll have some. No, thanks. I think I'll pass. It's a halfway house for huge guys? <laughs> this is worse than I thought. There's no butter in my coffee. You're at home now, Eddie. So what's going on? Whoa, that's what's going on. Okay, let's see. I'll take his wallet and his echinacea. Oh, and his goat cheese. Should I? Yes, I'll take his 70s watch. You know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not meant for this. Maybe I'm meant for something else. Maybe. Sister Superior says that I'm having a crisis of faith. Maybe. Well, what do you think? Oh, I think I like the Hagen dust better. Maybe. Come on, I'm looking for some counseling here, Fred. Hey, back up me, you know? Personally, I think you're getting a little stupid about that kid that bought the farm. Hmm? Remember Jimmy Ho? Remember Lena Melcher? I heard about Terry. Mink stole. Sorry. How's our guest? Unconscious. Look what I found. Callista Flockhart's belt. <laughs> Maybe he's into some kind of bondage thing. Smart guy. <laughs> I patched up what I could without x-rays. I'll know more tomorrow. Well, why don't you have a seat, nurse? Yeah, yeah. No, no time. I got to get back to the clinic. Terrible habit, girl. You're not on the floor. It's good to have you back, Anne. Thanks. I'll stop by after my shift, OK? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, you want something, Max? Uncle Fred says you mm -hmm. don't have a husband. Uncle Fred says you should, you're you going to shave your head and turn into a penguin. A mm -hmm. penguin. Can I watch? It was a metaphor. He says you don't know what you're doing. Max, he it's says, time to go to bed now. Go brush your teeth. Go on. Say good night. Good night. Night, Mom and Dad. You're right, you know. Oh, come on, Annie. I was just talking. Mm, two days ago, I was so sure. And what, today you don't know nothing? It's hard being a nun with a family. Oh. Look, when we met, you were hiding from a pimp. You just did a month in the joint. You were suicidal and addicted. And you threw it all away. Keeping you in here was hard. Corina was killed by some guy wired up on the drugs he bought from me. Oh, come off it, Annie. It's like I pulled the trigger. But you didn't. He did. You came here and got clean. You helped other girls off the junk and off the street. Hmm. That means something, Annie. It means great service and low, low prices. Hmm. <sighs> I was a great hooker. I'm gonna go up north and visit an aunt. She lives on an ant farm. <laughs> and take care of that guy? Oh, boy. Listen, kid, everything's gonna work out just fine. You'll see. Uh, what if God was one of us? I hope so. 
promise margarine, a new kind of spread. Yes, he's awake. Yep. How's he doing? <laughs> okay. I'm trying to talk to him. English, Spanish. He doesn't talk, but I think he understands. I left him in the daycare room. Hmm. Let's grab a look. He must go through a lot of Zubas in this house. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can tell us what this thing is for. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I'm going to go to my room and pack. Oh, no. Aren't you going to stand help us with this guy? He's yours. Yes, yeah, sister. Come on. You're good at this kind of thing. They don't get the all kickboxing station. Sorry, I ate your breakfast on the way in. It's hard to sample off the radio. Mm. Oh, sorry. That's not very appetizing, is it? I just thought of a great joke from Nonsense. Good thing we switched places there. Hi there, I'm Fred. That's Romero and that's Sister Ann. I assume you've met your corn with pimentos? Hey man, what's your story? A Macy's balloon. Oh, it's you, hi. You understand English? Ah, he's gonna fit right in. <laughs> All? His pants are low riders. Where's that light station that everyone can listen to at home, in the car, or at the office? Well, who's up for a snack? Two huge dinosaurs! Uh, oh, it's those guys. Leave me alone, madam. Oh, this guy might be a psycho. And, um, what do you think? He's gonna open up with you in there? Well, why not? I'm a likable guy. The sad thing is they're all former oh. prostitutes. Mm -hmm. You just say the word. I'll be right outside the door. It was fun to be in here for a while, but now let's go in there again. It must be Minneapolis. You can't find a good station. <laughs> German? Dutch? Huh? Mm hmm? Hey, you like the, the pictures in the magazines? What other random things can I say? Lamp? Elephants in the street? Computer station sounds like a great place. Is this yours? I'm gonna wear it to the rave tonight. Hang your crappy art high on the wall. This is a con. You can hear us, and I think you understand us. Us being me and the lamp. You want to give us a break? Hmm, that bass. Somewhere Seinfeld must be starting. Guess not. Well, enjoy. I don't think I will enjoy if it's all right with you. Great Warren Moon impression. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for not killing me. They should make a Hallmark card for that. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you're the same size as my Alsatian. Oh. Oh. There's, there's something wrong with your throat. Yeah. No. You can understand us, but, but you can't talk, right? Is that it? Is that it? No, I'm just choking you. <laughs> when I nod my head like this, I mean yes. Is that it? Yes? And when I shake my head no, <laughs> I mean no. Right? Yes. Yes. We're all out of steak. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Hey, you can run. Okay. Um. Ass. Ass. What? Ass. It's not even oh, ass, Servo. Oh. Abkadef, the Jekyll Manak, or Stu Mixes. He's got lady weightlifter cleavage. Hey, the map. Let's see. Here? Huh? Are you from here? Canary Islands, okay. Morocco, New Jersey, Hong Kong, Sauk Rapids, what? Here? Uh. Uh. Oh, you're from... Uh. Uh. I live in your air vent. I'm sorry, I just... Oh, oh, up here? Thick woman, man! 
What happened? We were batter dipping. Hi, my name is Max. Hi, I'm your toy. Pleased to meet you. Hi, my name is Max. Hmm? Where are you going? I'm going to go visit an aunt I have up north. I just came to say goodbye. Mm. So, goodbye. Mm. Hey, don't worry, they're going to take good care of you. Hey. Well, maybe now you can tell me where you come from. Do you? I don't know. Here I come. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't wasn't understand. done. I... I'm sorry. The son of Mo Howard. I'll hit you so hard with this, you'll go flying that way, <laughs> and... Yeah. Hey, me. Max, did you yeah, show me. many space videos? Yeah. Hey, you know your sprinkler was on? Are all nuns so stupid? <laughs> Damn, Bumpus is dinosaurs! Save the meatloaf! <laughs> yeah, this happens a couple times a day. No! They're my friends! Run! Must run! Amway! Hey, it's a full aspirin out tonight. Oh, glad the dinosaur got the kid. Really distracted him. Oh. God, thank you. Mm. I think we've outrun them. You are a penguin? No, I'm a puffin. No, I'm a sister, not a penguin. You know, one of the sledge girls. You know, how is it you know English today? When you didn't know English yesterday. Uh, bad screenwriting, really. It was hard for me to understand him. Mm -hmm. For all the problems I had, maybe I just didn't want to be a part of his. He explained to me how quickly he could learn, how his vocal cords needed to adjust to speak our tongue, and how he had heard our words before. Go ahead. His eyes were so honest, but still there was a part of him that I didn't trust. And who are you? A tool. I'm a box wrench. Can you come from? Uh, just let me check the wind and I'll tell you. Trains bringing in food for the roommates. Well, I suppose one of us has to play harmonica. Want a little convent issued pot here? Could you chew it and regurgitate it for me? Oh, I needed that jerky. You're human. And you're putting up with me. I am tool. Call me Snap-on. And you're from up there. The Palgam, the first were harvested from mm -hmm. this world, like trackers long ago. I prefer this grunting. Mm -hmm. We are used to build because we have these. Hamburglar finger puppets. The master do not have these. They can make their own thumbs, but they just don't want to. They want us to do the work. Yeah, I knew a few pimps in my time. Pimps? Did you know Rooster? You wouldn't understand. Like the Bible says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Jack Lord. This is a con. No, 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 no trick, hmm? no lie. How does an alien bred human know quotes from the Bible? In the world where I am from, in the place where the tools are kept, are unscheduled words, a phrase told in darkness, 
I have heard your language before. Mm -hmm. Well, um, explain this so I can understand it. Why are we on this train? This place was the most important story. Our dream, our heaven, and now, our gang, I'm free. He was so honest. I explained to him about the heavens. I was studying to become a nun, mm -hmm. but now I'm having second thoughts. I'm Mary. This is my story. When I was younger, I ran away, and I have a past that I'm not proud of. That's why I kept a scrapbook. <laughs> I found the church, and they helped me. But just recently, a friend of mine um, died of a drug overdose. Perhaps at AC. I blame myself for her death. I don't know. I feel somehow responsible. I guess that's why I blame myself for the death. Yeah, I made her swallow a pound of coke. She was yelling, please stop, mm. but still. Mm. The only thing that keeps me going is my All Bells CD. Hey, you know what, guys? I, we have been remiss. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you know, we have never, like in the movie, thanked Pearl for not killing us. Not once. Well, let's do it right now. Yeah. It... Hello, Pearl? Satellite killer launch. Six, five, four, three, two. Yeah? What? Well, uh, Pearl, I, I don't know how else to say this. Uh, Thank you for not killing us. Yeah, right. Huh? Well, that's okay. I, I would never kill Frank. I get, get over here. Hello. Well, you know, things get pretty tense between us, and what with one thing or another, I mean, you could easily have killed us. <laughs> and you didn't do that. So, so thanks. Really, that's okay. Uh, I guess I just take it for granted that I would never... How do you turn the rocket? First you say you want to kill them, then you say you don't want to kill well, them. And what am I, I supposed to do? can't kill them now. <laughs> I really don't think a second thing about it. That'll be sudden fun to kill Mike in the box today. Um, anything else you guys want to add? Mm, I don't think so. Just thanks for not killing us. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry about it. But, but, but aren't you killing them now? Shh. But they're thanking you for not killing them, but you're killing them. And it's oh, oh, I'm killing them. Yeah, ready. Well, I guess that's about it. Just thanks for not killing us. <laughs> Hey! Hey, you tried to kill us! What the? No! I didn't! No! Never! Yes, you did. Oh. Well, I just think this changes everything. I suppose there's other times you tried to kill us, too. Oh, now we have a movie sign. Can I even trust that? I don't know. Are you all right? Leave it. Wow. Ever since yesterday at the burial, I've been asking myself... How much do undertakers make? What I missed. You didn't miss anything, my dear. It wasn't your fault. How come I wasn't taken? Because you weren't. And that's that. So shut your trap. I don't know if I'm going to take my final vows next week. I have a nail appointment. Because of Terry Joe? That's what this is... You knew what I was before I came here. Sister William looks concerned. Well, you had a record. So did Mary Magdalene. I was a whore doing Sister. tricks and back alleys. Sister Anne. I sold drugs. Sister Anne. That was then. This is then, too. It's weird. I'm very proud of you now. You're bringing in a lot of cash to the convent. I'm not. Well, then, we have a problem here, don't we? She was smart, Sister. Good, tough. She was built for tough. Mm -hmm. Sister, I should have been there for her Sister when she Sister Anne, why did you take the weekend? Go out to the track or something. Visit your friends and family. 
No, perfection is not one of the requirements. Faith is... Sister, do you believe in signs? I believe in yield from right. I guess I do. Really? I, I don't know what to say. I thought you were going to say no. Keep your eyes open. You can't trust these nuns. God always answers prayers. But only from Catholics. We'll take a brief break from my flashback now. What about the tracker? What happens now? The tracker will rest, then go back. What was I talking about? To where it first found us. Is he talking about a warwolf? I don't believe this. This is the city. 12 million putty tats. Are you going back? Yes. But the tracker has her scent now. Tough. He'll have to deal with it. If I go with you, it will find me. Well, then you better get back on the train. Say, by the way, what is Kiss? I do not understand. This is something I have to do. I'd like to give you some big words of wisdom, but I just don't have any. My mind's blank. You do what you have to do. Goodbye. We don't have a permit to shoot on the curb. Am I a wild and crazy guy? What are you doing? Doing what I believe to. Is that okay at you? And what's that? I'm going with you. Look, let's get this straight. I work alone. I'm not out of my home. Alone? By myself. I want to be alone. Better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. Oh, that's from one of them chicken soup books? Or... I don't want to talk about this. Could you button my shirt? I'm going to call Sister Gary and see if she can cover my shift. The number you have reached is not in service. No, oh, Vatican, pay your phone bill. Heaven's mess, isn't it? I don't know. I like it. The Alien and the Nun, this fall on CBS. How many people got murdered today? Huh? Or raped? Beaten? Oh, missing. You're upset. Yeah, I'm upset. Didn't my acting convey that? But you want to help your friends. And that's different. I know them. You don't know me. You help me. Greater love has no man than this. Than a man lay down his life. Heard it! For his friend. Ugh, I gotta get out of here. Should we be worried about our friends? <laughs> that is what I want to be. What? A man. You are a man. No, I mean greater love. That kind of man. You better be careful what you wish for. Sister Mary Despair. <laughs> Life is good. I live in Maui and I got a monster back. <laughs> Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Ooh. He has the live, supple figure of James Dewan. A man was snapped at by a forced perspective puppet today. We're going on the assumption that some animal out of the hills has gone on a rampage. <laughs> the body found here at 3rd Street makes four deaths in six hours. This creature knows where it's going. I want cars posted all along this route. Make them alter cells. Stay in close radio contact at all times. Let's go. Is God out there? He is out there, man. Lord of gods, king of kings. You don't even know what you're saying, do you? I'm in your car, You don't. I'm in your car. What's out there? Is heaven out there? Earth is heaven. Thanks to Olestra. And the supreme being is what? Well, it's not Earl Holloman. Hmm? Handlers. Masters. No, 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 not them. Greater than them. What is your word for boring? <laughs> The movie's dragging, then they show us soccer. Good. Soccer's my game. I've no arms to see. Ah! Puffy hat, police. Western Division Officer Fry speaking. How may I help you? 
Help. This is mailboxes, etc. People really need our boxes. Help us, please. Man, why'd we take the train to Sacramento? You know, I'm supposed to get you folks back in the movie. 3. It's the world's most put upon nun. This is Boris Becker reporting live. This is WCNG reporter C. <laughs> reporting to you live from the Fifth Street warehouse, where there has been a reported animal attack. <laughs> Ted Nugent helps out. More updates as they occur. Thanks for playing reporter and camera guy with me. I think the cardboard camera's working good. Oh. Captain, the employee is still in the plant to back of a storeroom. <laughs> He's reporting over a baby monitor. Joey, lead in the tactical team. You take the point. <sighs> now, I have unbridled enthusiasm for boxes, Mike. You know that. Sure. But even I think they've overdone the box theme in this movie. Okay, boxes, if you have any inserts, throw them out now. I really do like boxes. Yeah. Just call me Bruce Box Liker. <laughs> oh, please. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Andy Patankin's gonna do a concert back there. Hey, Joey. <laughs> Captain wants to know if you <laughs> spotted that bear yet. <laughs> no, no, sir. Try a picnic basket, boo boo. Where's the rest of my SWAT team? Am I just a SWAT guy? I just found a bloodstained surface. I'm gonna try scrubbing them out. You sure it's not ketchup? No, sir. It's real. Focus on, uh, Polaris. <laughs> and Arctic Cat. They would transfer to a Costa Gavras film. All patrols, Northeast Corner. Your lights are on. Uh, anybody got a bloody glove we could plant? Jesus. Well. Reminds me of the time Chief Gates chunked all over headquarters. <sighs> Sometimes tools are going to run. When the trackers catch them, it's like this. So, uh, Wally, you need a doctor, or...? The dinosaur is skeet shooting off the port bow. Hey, it's coming back. Hmm? A movie that pushes over boxes. Don't shoot. Floyd's behind him. He might hit each other. I've got Floyd. Can you kill him with that? Yeah. Here, come here. It's a soft place. Ooh. Just a moment. Don't miss. This is how dinosaurs see plaid. This is a case where parents should have crushed a child's dream of becoming a filmmaker. Mm, right. So when you edit it, it'll look like I stabbed him, right? I was coming to warn you, an asteroid. <laughs> SWAT guy who's dead must be feeling pretty dumb right now. Yeah. That's mine. I got it. Get down. Oh, I had a woodchuck do this to me once. <laughs> well. Captain Polaris. <laughs> Captain Polaris. Are you there? Captain Polaris. We got the bastard, Sergeant. We've got a situation here. What do you mean, you've got a situation? <laughs> I mean, we've got more monster sightings in the city. What, what do you more? mean? How could there be more? They come in packs. Or cartons. They're after me. They will continue to hurt people until they find me. Bring me to them. Otis Smitty, place this man under arrest. Hey, he just saved you and everybody in the building from that thing. That's right. He's not a criminal. 
He won't run away this time. Now, if you'll excuse us, Sister Ann, your friend's got some questions to answer. Hey, how did you know who I was? Fred Burroughs told us how he got you to give him a ride, but don't worry, you're free to go. What? Fred Burroughs. Somebody look in your Rolodex for a Fred Burroughs. Yeah, Fred Burroughs. <laughs> Fred, Fred Burroughs. Fred Burroughs? Fred Burroughs, help me! A skinny Belgian idiot was arraigned on charges early today. Well, I am Belgian. Hey, the LA police got themselves a boombox. And a copier. Ooh. <laughs> Just wait until Fred Burroughs gets here, man. Yeah, haven't had Hardy's in over an hour. They don't care about us, Annie. They just cut us loose. In fact, everybody cut foot loose. Is Terry Joe's brother still running with the 12th Street Gang? Yeah. Can you set up a meeting with me? What for? He's such a nun. So he can shoot me. <laughs> We're sharing a vague moment. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Fred Burroughs. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> We're number one. Based on a play by Terrence McNally. Hmm? Maybe he is Tom of Finland. <laughs> hey, little pal. Where'd my thumb go? Beating up his memories. He's warming up to sing the big country song. Yeah, pretty soon he's going to be flashing back to the beginning of the flashback. That pretty much brings us up to speed. Thank you, Solaflex. Well, I'm all chowed out. I wonder if I get body waxing privileges in here. The things my stereo came packed in fly through space. A Mark 7 production. So. Oh, good, another large guy. The movie was needing one. <laughs> yep. Well, their stair climbing lessons seem to be going well. Beat it! Beat it! You got something to say to me? I'm sorry I took your parking space. Sorry about Terry Joe. He was a good python. Uh, anything else? I'm sorry. Chet, deep thoughts, you know? Is he a sister Hazel, Mike? I need your help. For what? I need to borrow your toque. Monsters in the hood. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the life of a basement dwelling computer nerd. But never mind that, let's go here. These are things. They exist. Wow. So, Dr. Tanaka, what's your honest opinion? What's there not to believe? A race of transplanted humans bred on another planet. One of them escapes, returns to his ancestral world, and these dinosaurs and their masters are here to bring him back. Hmm. Personally, I think he's nuts. Detective Alan Thick. I've seen these dinosaurs, Doctor. They're real. Maybe his story is real, too. Captain. Federal Captain. agents, we're taking over this case as of right now. But my puffy hair. Under whose authority? Oh. National Security, Captain. You hereby relieved of this case in order to leave the room now. I'm taking this to the commissioner. Why, if this door wasn't just a flat panel, I'd... I don't believe this. Can you explain this? 
They're photographs. I said, can you explain this? They're trackers. <laughs> when the tracker was killed, what happened to his body? Self-destruct. Yes. So they leave no trace. Trace? Trace. Like this? D. Snyder's dance belt. You look so human. I'm a man. In my particular relationship. So you say. Sorry, this nipple ring's hard to remove. Well? It appears to be a transmitter of some kind. I'm taking it to the lab. Can you all leave the room, please? So you want to get my polyp while you're at it? I apologize for this humiliation. It's my job. I have a job, too. I'm a tool. My life is my job. Mine too. Oh, okay, you both have interesting jobs. Don't fight about it. Bye, right here. Take a look at this. And send the results to my office, please. Look, they drape stuff in front of the editing machine. Mm, Payless shoes can be uncomfortable. Dr. Pam Tillis. Oh, these exterior patellas hurt. Sorry, thought I saw a deer in there. Noogie! Easy Spirit Lab Shoes. Won't anyone give me five? Danger restroom area? Uh, yeah, a co-worker has irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> I got caught in the towel machine! <laughs> Freddie Mercury after a good beating. <laughs> ah, vapor action. Hmm, do I put this on my time card? She did him the favor of pre-stuffing herself in the crawl space. Future doctor of chiropractic. Noise, his timing belt must be loose. <laughs> Willis? What you talking about? Dexter? We taking him to Langley. I'm going back to being the apostle, boss. Okay, paperwork, talk. What is it? You know, don't you? Uh, it's a giant faced Bruno Kirby. <laughs> Somebody shot the editor. <laughs> Shot in the lounge of the college dormitory <laughs> on any given night. Mm. Ah, Ricky! Whoops, banana peel! The LAPD gun closet. Can I borrow your shirt? Let's do some crimes. Say uncle. Uncle! That's right, now give me your lunch money. Freeze, damn it! Oh, Go. that was dumb. This isn't a real movie, it's more of a movie loaf. Yeah, it's made from real movie parts, chunked in form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for listening. It's just my little arms are kind of frustrating. Here, let me pick your teeth. You got a huge piece of chive stuck in there. Okay, my theory is that the director shot the entire movie without looking at it. <laughs> That's good. It's the big one. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Oh, that's how you kill an android. You wipe a length of thin pipe across his stomach. Uh-oh. And like spent lovers, they lay again. <laughs> can't count on the police. Can't count on anybody. What do you want us to do? We can stop these things together. Yeah, right. Together. Together means we do all the work, right? Now, we're out of here. Sit your ass down. Sister's right. 
Nobody's gonna help us but us. They got the neighborhood That's by the ball. Don't scare us. Don't see out the streets either. That's enough. Let them go. They don't have to help us if they don't want to. You saying we're afraid? No. But there's gonna be a fight. And it's gonna be bad, and it's gonna be bloody. So where do we find these things? Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, my sleeves fell off. Oh, it's near water. 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 That could be a lot of places. Then we do it the hard way, and we look. Water obviously cut this fence and broke through. Meanwhile, in the African Queen, Bogart and Hepburn pick leeches off each other. Water. Uh, the Crips like to go down to the reflecting pool for their gang retreats. Yo, let's collect wildflowers. In outer vomitorium. Hmm, thought that was a baby Ruth. Wait, is that a Clark bar? Come here. Fresh tracks. Oh no, they're a day old. They've been marked down. Very deep. Run! <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. Get on a truck! I'm your puppet. Go, 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 Look, how much more can I drive? There's no inherent quantity of driving that I can increase. If you want me to go faster, then you need to tell me that. <laughs> the character of Bob the Friendly Security Guard implied here. God, we're gonna be massacred. We're gonna have to take a stand tonight. You will attack the trackers? You got something better? Listen, they're after me. I will give myself to them. Good, That's meeting no adjourned. Yeah. But they are after him. Can these things die? The Utney Reader staff. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man, you're talking heavy artillery. We can't get anything like that. Mmm, good coffee. Yes, we can. Is this yours? No, I didn't use it. Look at that. Hello. Uh, hello. hello. I'm Droppy the Water Droplet, here to talk to you about water, nature's liquid. Okay, why? Well, in today's motion picture, much was made of the propensity of dinosaurs to gather near water. I remember one and line. And yet, sadly, water was not featured. Uh, that's true. And but, so uh... I have been hired by the Water Council to dispel some of the myths being propagated, probably by jealous solids and semi-solids, about this tremendously versatile fluid. Oh, well... Now, where the hell did he go? Hello, I'm Droppy, the water droplet. Yes, you are. Did you know that there are literally tens of thousands of uses for water? Here are just a few thousand. Moisten your hair with me and apply a commercial grade detergent. Lather, rinse, and repeat for a cleaner smelling head. A crow, I think we're all familiar Send with Send me them. through your lower atmosphere, freezing me into multifaceted crystalline patterns. Children enjoy my easy shape ability. Store me in huge glass lined tanks and allow grains and yeast to ferment in me. Then just filter, age, and bottle me for a treat that dads can't resist. Are these in any kind of order? Sir, we got a lot of these to go through, so if you could please hold your water. <laughs> the, the water council fed me that one. <laughs> anyway, use me in your cellular structure as an affordable building block of life itself. Store me frozen on your inefficient roofs, allowing portions of me to melt and refreeze on your eaves in beautiful conical shapes. You know what, we'll uh, tell you what you missed Use after me to this, flush okay. toxins from your body and store me in your bladder. Okay, yeah, that's, that's about enough. Then what, Nice girl. The mean streets of Burbank. Jumpy the pusher. Conroy. I need some weapons. Some real heavy stuff. I got you a Ford Pinto. They're great weapons. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Do you want to kill other people? Hey, Annie. Hello, Chadwick. How's your catalog of cheap women's apparel? We go back, don't we? We go way back. I'm not here to talk about that. Hold it, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing. 
I've come to contribute. Here. Here's some zucchini loaf. What's this? Found a high-grade white. Killing dose? Should have killed a whole city block. And there's this. Dollar off on Tide detergent. Everyone needs some finance, babe. Who's that? None of your business. Guess you gotta take the bad with the good, huh? <laughs> Night, sister. I gotta go manage a Denny's. Hey, Casablanca. Would you doppel me into that, Mike? <laughs> sister Suzuki sidekick. Conroy, I got the money. Now can you help? Sure, Annie. Yeah, portion's kind of slow Fine. today. get in. Okay, we'll open a PetSmart here and a Home Depot there. Hmm? Oh, it's one of those things the cops always hit me with. Okay, and Walden books here and a couple Starbucks. Would you stop messing around with that flashlight and help us? Yeah. So in the future, they simply forgot about flashlights. Yeah. These have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> Great, they got a French resistance fighter to help them. Uh, this'll have to pass for humor. Until actual humor can be found, please enjoy this substitute. Uh-huh, great. You getting this, Dumbo? Yeah, I think the scene is over. Yep. Camera's still on? Oh, crap. Turn it off, will ya? Pete! Lieutenant Nunn leads the troops. Wait, this is it. Movie sponsored by the Plaid Council. Plaid, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> okay, everyone gets one juice box, but that's all. I made a memorial to your peas, Dane. Let's go. Plaid Avengers, ho! Serving 19. Who has 19? Uh, suddenly he's like, Mr. Flashlight. <laughs> My God, I found the beginning of the movie. Yeah, yeah, okay, come this way, we get it, yeah. There's seven dwarves coming right at us. That's the most complicated trombone in the world. Thanks for coming down into my wine cellar with me, guys. I get scared. See, I could point out that this isn't the future, and it's not a war, but you know me. I don't like to complain. Not you. No. No, not me. No. <laughs> Lighting budget ran out, but they just keep on a filming. They're hunting Ed Norton. NBC. Dale have to bring his ironing board. Viva la resistance. Wow. Dinosaur's got a 10K back there. Uh, by the way, the wall you're seeing wasn't the train from the earlier scene, so don't even think about it. Okay? You know, I hope they do the bong bong sound again, Mike. You know, I hope they never stop. Yeah, I wish I had a huge bong bong right now. <laughs> What's that light supposed to be? Is God outside? Go, go, go in here. here. Go, go. Hmm? Come, on, Come on, go, go. Come on and go. Go more. And then drive. Go, go. Can you hear them? They're talking about us, <laughs> telling lies. Go, 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 go. Now stay. Hooray, right, we did an awesome job of walking down the hall. Woo! Come on, another high five. We made it five more feet down the hall. Woo. Jack Johnson's back and he's fighting with a gun this time. And you brought along the raccoon trap. Why? Now when Foghorn Leghorn comes around the corner, he's ours. I only wish my arms were long enough to hold you. So I said, up your Jurassic, pal. <laughs> That's a good one. 
<laughs> well, I should get home. Hey, Stan, can you recommend a good place to get an exploding collar fixed? Now serving nine. We found him. Down there. It's a fixed video without the music. Good. Robert Clary guards his comrades. Alouette, jante, alouette, alouette, jante, plumare, la parapapapa. So, according to the bells, it's 97 o'clock. <sighs> Well, do you want to, I don't know, high-five me? We have to draw them out of there. I know. Can I use the flashlight? Are you scared? Yeah. But the sauna's helping me relax. Greater love hath no man, remember? I do. He's an apprentice, Brian Brown. You really got a clean shave this morning. By the way, I asked Sister Bertrill to give us air support against the dinosaurs. Let's do this thing. Wow, right here? I mean, right now? I, I, I mean, I wanted to, but wow! Introducing new, faster seconds. <laughs> oh, sure, DSS is easy to install. You get that stupid pigeon out of there. I, uh, I need the key to the chest freezer. Uh, <laughs> tick, 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 little bomby, tick, 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 remember? May your road be paved with sausages. Why don't you ask him if he's going to stay? Why don't you ask him if he's going away? Tusk! Don't say that you love me. That's it. Things. Come on. I'm getting extinct, do you mind? She just wait until their scales turn into feathers and then pluck them. Hmm. Hi, good to see you again. I'm on flashlight. I'm just gonna throw a couple of bales of hay while I'm here. And in this corner. Uh-huh, as previously seen. The dinosaur supersized it. The ice fishing's bad here. We So they heaved a mic stand at him. <laughs> Ain't it funny how time slips away? Stupid mammals. Bonjour. Oh, merde. But dressing like Shea Guevara didn't help at all. This careful plan involving putting on a beret and rushing at the dinosaur with a Boy Scout knife. It would have been much more effective to get him into a bathtub and then drop a hair dryer into the water. Mm-hmm. Ooh. The awesome power of a 60-watt bulb. Now back to drug dealing. I got better. 
Careful, that chin might go off. Go get him, sister. Good luck now. Time for a little chin music. Oh, the don'ts. My hippie. <laughs> I'm fretting. See, audience? I'm fretting. <laughs> oh, the doctor says he has to wear his glaucoma test forever. God is a dick. Oh, his chin's off balance. Ooh, big zit. Let's go be on fame. It's a 5K spaz run. Go slower, slower. Jog lightly out of danger. Dinosaurs are chasing us. <laughs> You guys get dinosaur intestines all over you, too? <laughs> Hi, I'm the director. Please enjoy this small, inaccurate model of what we'd like to imply just happened. Thank you. Four days ago, a fire fell from the sky, mm -hmm. and I thought everything it brought would just extinguish and burn away. I'm kind of dumb. Now, for all the questions and doubts I had, everything seems so clear. Hi, Sister Chuck. I think the one in the black likes me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father Oliver Platt. Dear sister, do you now want to commit to this bond of perpetual devotion? Yes, I will. Well, can I try for a week? Do you want to strive for the perfect love of God and of your neighbor following the spirit of the gospel? Yeah, I guess. Yes, I will. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, do you want to generously spend your whole life in the service of God's people? <laughs> You think she's gonna do it? No way, man. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, do you want to spend your whole life in the service of God's people? Oh, in God's car, you'll have to take care of that too. When he was a future slave, he worked in the hair gel mines. <sighs> Years of expensive nun training just wasted. Yes, I would. It's Super Pope! <laughs> The Lutherans create a cyborg. It's liberation theology versus Opus Dei. I open my mouth at you. My shirt was knocked off. It was knocked off, I swear. Wow, he's got the longest butt crack I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll call the reconstructive urologist. Look at that beautiful stained glass window. <laughs> they must have had a loser bishop to get a basilica like this. I think it's just the Arby's employee chapel. You still think I took my shirt off, don't you? <laughs> better one or better two? I just want to see where he's going to go with this. So I'm just going to stand here and watch. And, oh, I see. Well, ouch then. Huh. Future sacred statuary hater. Here. Well, now his chest is healed. Oh, well, now it's not. Oh, well, now it is again. I'm sorry. Oh, now it's not. It's not my fault. Oh, now it's not again. Oh, it is. It's not. Oh. Did I make my point there? Yeah, uh, eloquently. Oh. Rip Taylor as the android. Huh? The movie that delivers more huhs per second. 
I tried to light a votive candle for my grandma and it got out of control. This is a weird PSA for the Catholic Church. Oh, thanks. Great nun ceremony. Uh, is this allowed in the chapel? The ambulance is here. Mm -hmm. So much to learn. So much. Oh, shh. You're gonna be all right, okay? Mm -hmm. I learned from you. Mm -hmm. I want to play with a flashlight. Greater love has no man than this. Mm -hmm. I want to be that man. Jesus was a kickboxer, right? You are. You are. You ask me if there's a heaven out there. Shh. I don't want to know. I'm an agnostic. I know. Four days ago, a fire fell from the sky. I know. Everything he wanted was everything I needed. So neither of us actually got anything. <laughs> Hill Street Rehab, how can I help you? Hello, I'm a runaway. I'm all alone. <laughs> can you help me, please? Scar! Nice nice counselor picture. Now that passion for living and giving life burns deeply and forever in my heart. Okay, you gotta take, listen, I got something really cool I wanna show you. Just, just wait right here, okay? Uh, um, just okay. right there. So, he ditched us. Apparently. Hmm. No, it's really, really cool. Just hang on. Hey, hey Servo, where's that thing of yours? What thing? Uh, you know, could you step it up a bit, Mike? The actors have really stupid names. Just a minute. Hey, Crow, look. Just a dash, please. <laughs> what? Well, I'm just making fun of Well, the... don't. Okay, here we go. Here we go what? Now watch, watch. Huh? Uh, Mike, why are you growling? <laughs> it's a giant dinosaur, see? I don't get you, Mike. It's, it's forced perspective. By being over here, I can make this toy dinosaur look huge, over see? Where? Oh, 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 hell, there you are. What, what are you doing with my toy? Uh, I'm demonstrating forced perspective. Oh, how nice for you. Oh, don't be so sardonic. It's neat. Look, you can bite your Okay, head. Mike, uh, let's humor you. It is me. Mm -hmm. Well, sure it is. And, and you can do it with all kinds of things. Why, uh, heck, if you wanted, you could make a giant wrench. Oh, look. Look out, you two. Oh, uh -huh. a giant wrench. Uh -huh. So it's a wrench only really big. Big Great. wrench. Yeah, and look, uh, what was once an ordinary set of pinking shears becomes a sort of a crocodile. Oh, oh. <laughs> Clever. Crocodile. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that neat? And look, you know your little toy rabbit? Yeah. It becomes the star of... Night of the Leapers. Mike, what's all this really about? Come on, this is because Joel stopped by recently, isn't it? It's Joel, right? No, well, no, no, wait, 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 there's more. With forced perspective, this precious moments figurine looms as large as the Statue of Liberty. You know, he has a point, Crow. No, 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 he has no point, don't encourage him. Hey, and, and children, look. Here comes the Gamera. Gamera is friend to all children. Have you seen his medication? No, I think he's off it again. Oh, no. And finally, Servo's chew toy looks just like the satellite of love. See? Huh. <laughs> well, hey, hey, there you go. That's the spirit, Servo. You made yourself into giant Servo, destroyer of whole cities. Uh, Mike, actually, I'm still over here. Oh. Oh, yeah, there you are. What the? Oh, it's a giant servo! Run! Help, it's a giant servo! Run. Oh, no, a horrible giant servo! Run, run, run for your life, Mike! It's a giant servo! Run for the servo. hills, Mike! Run! 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 Servo. run. 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 <laughs> That's it, you poor sap. Ooh, we stuck him bad. Oh, man. Good one, Tom. How did you manage the effect so well? Yeah, well, what do you mean? I mean, how do you operate the other head while you sit there? You know, I was just about to ask you the same question. Oh, you were. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, make your way very slowly and <laughs> Hi, it's me, Tom Servo. Don't try to figure it out. Hell, I got at least a dozen of me. Uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Grr, it's fun. Hi, guys. Huh. Notice anything? Uh-huh, sure, Mike. I'm wearing a funny chin. Oh, look, just stop, would you? Jeez. But I can. It's big and it's funny. I have a big chin. I have a big Don't chin. Don't you even care how insulting you are to the thousands of people out there who have big prosthetic foam chins? Hmm. 
Nope. You know why? Because I have a big chin. Ho, 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 ho. It's big. Sorry, everyone. Uh, Pearl's calling you insensitive cow. Oh, watch this. Big chin. Say. Good, 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 good. Results show this film causes bizarre behavior without the use of hallucinogens. Brain guy, send this report to the Institute. I don't follow you, my friend. No way. We're going on the road. Too true, fair lady. Our sound is tight, you know? Oh, mellow. Oh. Bobo's lyrics are pure poetry, man. Yes, we're opening the Moby Grape reunion tour in Santa Cruz. Oh, you are? Oh. How nice. Oh. Well, I have some parting gifts for both of you. These are handmade love necklaces, so as you both have something special to remember me by. Oh. Pearl, you are too, too solid for this world, man. <sighs> Bobo, hit me with some lyric. Like a dog in the sand, I am yours too. Now they're eight miles high. 